Anti-Crime Unit of the Gambia Police Force said it again arrested 33 suspected criminals and armed robbers. Arrested from various locations, the criminals have been charged with breaking and stealing, while others face charges of receiving stolen property. Police displayed items allegedly stolen by the robbers, which include flat screens, laptops, Bluetooth players, mobile phones, among other things. Chief Superintendent Gorgi El Mbub is the operations commander. Buba Ture, commonly known as Bob, he just left the prison uh, less than 11 days uh, on the same charges of uh, breaking and entering and stealing as well. He's, he also broke into somebody's house. He's a notorious criminal. And this lot at the back here are uh, all got for cannabis, cannabis. And in fact, we have about two kilos plus about uh, 139 wraps of cannabis that we have found in some of them, they are positioned others uh, 6, 5, 11 and 9. And they are confessing that all the breakings and entering that are done in Busumba, La Farato area are, are, are committed by this Jibril King. So this other gentleman, he is a hypnotizer. Uh, yes, he hypnotized a girl, he found a girl walking in the street and he called the girl to say that, telling the girl that you are left with only three days to die. And then she took the girl to a graveyard where she, uh, he asked the girl to hand over all his properties, including money. The girl hand over, handed over a phone plus money, and then the, he disappeared with it. But thank God, I think uh, for now, a day after, or uh, the second day after, he was apprehended by the community, and he was seriously beaten and then handed over to the anti-crime unit. So he is just from the prisons as well. He is an ex-convict. Uh, this kuruba that you see in here, and uh, Cutlass was found in a car. Uh, we got the tip of yesterday morning that uh, there is a car park around Senegambia somewhere, uh, and it was unnumbered. When we went after the car, uh, the driver started uh, running away, and then we chased them. But uh, unluckily for them, they went, went and hit a pole, and uh, they got stuck. They cannot go anymore. The voice uh, left the vehicle. They vacated, and then they ran. They could not be apprehended. And then we got the Kuruba, and... Uh, the cutlass plus the uh, sorry the hammer inside the vehicle. The the, the the horn was found in one one gentleman's position. He is here with them, and then I think uh, it must be a juju. I think uh, the person who gave it to him will just tell him that if you use this juju, nobody is going to catch you. But I think yesterday was his bad day, so he was automatically apprehended, and then the, the juju was shown. The juju was working yesterday, I think. Yeah, it has expired anyway. The anti-crime unit commander advised people to be aware of certain hours of the night when criminals are active. Yeah, the only advice I have to the general public is uh, let them be very, very, very uh, cautious. Uh, uh, I would like to give some tips. Uh, that is to say, early in the morning uh, when it is raining, let everybody be very attentive. Though it is the best time to sleep, but people need to be aware that the criminals only come when it is time to when it is raining. That's the very that's the very best time for them to steal, and also between the half past three, four, and five o'clock. Because most of the reports that I get, complaints we are getting, is between three, four, and five. So one have to be very very attentive at this time to avoid such things. The deputy police PRO appealed to Gambians not to see police as a menace, but law enforcement officers. He also warned the public not to obstruct police while on duty. Let people not see police as people um, uh, um, hustling them. You know, all what we are doing is to ensure that uh, Gambia is crime free. And if Gambia is crime free, that is to the benefit of all, be it police or be it any um, person. Um, uh, in the Gambia, whether you are a Gambian or a non-Gambian, it will be a, you will be a, 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 you will benefit from that. So uh, the police, for instance, just during this operation, the police followed somebody, a suspect. He entered into a compound, and some people came out to say the police are not going to arrest, you know, to obstruct the police in the due execution of their lawful duties. You know, which itself is a crime. This is why we have them here, apprehended here too, and they are going to be prosecuted for the crimes they have committed. That if the police are pursuing criminals, please let us help the police to get criminals, to clean them out of our society. We don't hate these people. We are trying to correct them. We want to make sure that you know, they are good people in the society. For QTV News, I am Babakar Sise reporting.